gonna see what's out here. Whoa, it's so beautiful. Look at the mountains and the birds. <gasps> Whoa, hi, I didn't see you there. When did you come to visit my camp? This is so much fun. Are you here to hang out today? Is it Sunday morning and you wanna learn a little bit more about Jesus and the ways that we can learn how to love him so much more? and obey our parents, and love and be kind to other people, well, you came to the right campsite, even though I wasn't expecting you here today. So, just out here in my teepee with my headlamp because sometimes it gets super dark and you wanna see what's out there, what's that noise that I hear, or maybe you just need to find something in your tent and it's just too dark to find it. Does that ever happen to you that you need to find funny things and you're just like, where did it go? It's lost. So today's story is all about ways that we can learn to please God well by obeying him. So before we get started, are you feeling like you've got so much energy and you're just feeling awful of the wiggles? Could you wiggle your body? How about you shake your hands? How about you tap your toes? And do you remember in class, how we have little carpet tiles that are all different colors and you get to pick your favorite color. Well, guess what today? You don't have to pick one of the colors from what's in the class. You get to pick what's in your own house. So maybe you have like your favorite little blanket or your favorite little towel or maybe your favorite little chair that you want to sit on. So I'm going to find something for me. Hmm, what do I have? What do I have? Oh, this right here works. Look, it's like a little, a little blanket that's like for safari animals. It has like, I don't know, some little creatures that look like they're kind of on an outdoor adventure too, doesn't it? So I'm gonna put this under my bum. I'm gonna just sit super still and we'll be quick. We won't be very long and we'll just listen to the story really super fast. Do you think you guys can do that? I think you can. I think you can hold your hands in your lap. You could even grab one of your little stuffed friends. I brought my little puppy with me on my camping trip. His name is Fred. So he's gonna sit right here beside me and he's gonna listen to the story too. Do you wanna get one of your little friends? Why don't you go quick, I'll wait. And you can pause it if you need to pause the, the video or ask your mommy and daddy, can you pause it? I'm gonna go get my favorite little friend to listen to the story. Okay, are you back? Yay, I'm so happy you're back. So our story today is just about when people pleased God. And you know what? This story is about that so many times in the Bible when people obeyed God and made his heart so happy because he really wanted really good things for them. Are there times when your mommy and daddy ask you to do something and really the truth is that they, oh, hi puppy. He's just coming back up here to hang out with us. Um, and they actually wanna do something really good for you, but maybe they need you to obey and do something first, like maybe pick up some toys or help with some little thing around the house um, or just simply be a really good listener and get your shoes on so you can get out the door. Do you sometimes have a hard time finding your shoes? My kids do too. Okay, so today is learning about how we can please God because he wants really good and wonderful things for us. So today, guess what? I packed my bag. Got this great little backpack. It's got all kinds of treasures in it for my adventure. And inside, there's a Bible. Pull out my little Bible. And I'm gonna read from Hebrews 11, six. Can you count to six with me? So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Oops, I need my other hand. Six. So Hebrews 11, six. So it says, and it is impossible to please God without faith. So faith is when you don't really know maybe what you're doing, but you just trust that like really good things are gonna happen and you trust that everything will be okay. Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists and that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. So now the other things to remember too is that God is so pleased when people know and believe in him, right? So when we know we like, you may not be able to see Jesus, but you can see all the good things that he does. And you can also know that your parents are there to help guide you and make sure that you are healthy and happy. And the Bible tells us about people who showed their love for God. So do you guys remember Noah? 
Do you remember Noah and the great big ark with all the animals in the ark? Yeah. So Noah loved God and he knew God would keep him safe when the rain came. Another one is Abraham. Do you remember Abraham? He climbed to the top of a mountain and he did a big burnt offering to God. He loved God and when God said to move to a new land, Abram said, okay, let's go on our adventure and let's see where you're gonna lead us. So Moses was another one that listened to God and the things God told him to do. Moses showed that he loved God. So just like when your mommy and daddy say, hey, quickly come, let's go do this thing. And you're like, I don't wanna go. Maybe it's something really good and wonderful that they're gonna do with you. Or maybe it's gonna be something kind of hard and kind of boring, but then good things will come after that. So you guys remember, and this week, why don't you think about some ways that you can be really, really good listeners with your ears, and you can be really, really kind with your words that you speak, and maybe too, you can ask your mommy and daddy after this is over, ask them, can we go on an adventure? And maybe you guys are already going camping, or maybe you can just build a really cool little fort with a little blanket, and you can set a blanket over chairs, and you can just make a really fun little camping adventure, just like I'm doing in my basement in this little play teepee with all of my little friends in here. I even have a snake and a little puffin. And then of course there's my puppy Fred. So thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for listening to this story. And let's just say a really quick prayer to Jesus. Dear Jesus, we thank you for this day and for this week and for wonderful time to learn more about your word and how we can be wonderful, loving followers of you and obedient children to our mommies and daddies and to be kind to other people. And we thank you that by the things that we do because our heart loves you, that we can please you and make you happy as well. Thank you. Amen. All right, guys, have a great week and we will see you again very soon. Bye.